How to complete the Don't Sweat the Technique achievement for the glory of the Argus Raider. This achievement is soloable, but you do need to meet some criteria. You'll need a CC such as Banish, Freezing Trap, or Entangling Roots. I also recommend doing it on normal difficulty and make sure to track the achievement so it will turn white when you do it successfully. For the achievement, you used to need to have two skills to avoid the two knockbacks, but now if you do it totally solo, they nerfed it to where the knockback isn't really an issue at all. But if you plan to do it with a friend or multiple people, one of you will definitely need skills to avoid it. For example, Harpoon and Disengage for Hunters or Charge and Heroic Leap for Warriors work great. The goal of this achievement is to turn an Ember of Tashalak into a Manifestation of Tashalak and kill it before you defeat the boss. This is done by CCing one of the Embers and having it hit by the Tashalak Technique combo two times. The Tashalak Technique the boss will do goes Foe Breaker, Flame Rend, Foe Breaker, Flame Rend, then Searing Tempest. You will need to keep the ember cc'd and let it get four stacks of flame rend, four stacks of foe breaker, and two stacks of searing tempest before it will turn into a manifestation. So here's how it goes. Pull the boss and lower him to 80%, then kill the two bigger flame of Tashalak mobs, and then cc one of the embers once it gets about halfway. Then I like to set my focus on him so I can keep an eye on its cc and stacks. Now just position the boss in front of the cc'd elemental. About this close is good enough, it needs to be close enough for the boss to hit it, but far enough to give you some room for knockbacks. Then just wait for the boss to start the Tashalak technique combo and make sure your CC is refreshed to be safe. For Foe Breaker, just stand and do nothing. Then for the Flame Rend, it will knock you back just a bit if you're solo, just get back into position. Then it will be Foe Breaker, again do nothing, and Flame Rend with the small knockback, again just get back into position. And finally for the combo, it will end with Searing Tempest. You can run out of this if you want, but if you're max level, it doesn't really matter. At this point, the Ember should have two Foe Breaker, two Flame Rend, and one Searing Tempest, so we just need to do this combo again. I like to reposition the boss to allow for more room, and also double check to make sure your CC is still up with a long duration, and then just wait for the technique to start again. And now you can just literally repeat the same process that I showed. Once the Ember has been hit by four Foe Breakers, four Flame Rends, and two Searing Tempest, if you did it successfully, the Ember will turn into a manifestation, and now you have to kill the Ember, then kill the boss. Now I want to show you how to do it if you're not doing it solo since the knockback is much farther. So again, follow everything the same. The only part that's different is dealing with the flame rend knockback. For example, on my hunter, as soon as I'm knocked back, I use my harpoon to pull myself back to the boss. And then for the next flame rend, I turn around and use my disengage to leap back towards him. Repeat this process for the two full combos and then you can kill the manifestation and then kill the boss. And congrats on your achievement. I also just wanted to throw this out there. If anyone is having issues completing this achievement, Achievement, and if you're on NA servers, feel free to join my Discord. I'm going to be trying to organize some events in the future to help with Glory of the Raider achievements, of course, including the Argus Raider. So if you're stuck on this Don't Sweat the Technique or the next one, Stardust Crusaders, which I will be doing a video on soon, join my Discord and I'll see about arranging an event and a time to help you guys get it because I know these last two are some of the ones that people struggle with. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe!